Good morning. Good morning. Well, I welcome you to the First Baptist Church of Washington Hills in Chattanooga, Tennessee, to our Sunday morning worship service. We want to stop to wish all fathers a happy Father's Day. Thank you. Amen. We're going to start off with our devotional period. We're going to start off with the scripture. Then we have a song and a prayer. Amen. Good morning. Happy Father's Day. Uh, the book you're reading this morning will be coming out of Psalms. Psalms 121. Psalms 121. And when you're found, if you stand to the feet as I read aloud. And it reads. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy feet to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he keepeth Israel till neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. And God bless the only divine reading of his word. Amen. Glory, glory, oh hallelujah, oh since I Ah! Uh -huh. 
precious and dear Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Here's again that we call upon your most holy and your righteous name. Amen. We call upon you with thanksgiving in our hearts. For we realize that we have so much to be thankful for. Amen. We truly do. Right early this morning, you Amen. touched us. Thank you, Lord. With your finger of love and you woke us up Amen. to a brand new day. Amen. When our eyes came open, we was able to behold the beauty of your handiwork. Yes. Well, well. And Lord, we just thank you for starting us on another day's journey. Thank you. Thank you. Oh Lord, we thank you for what you have provided for us. Food to eat, shelter over our head, and clothes on our back. Right. You enclosed us in our right mind. Gave us the right use of our leave. All right. We thank you, Father. Thank you so much. We stopped it to give you the honor and to give praise to your holy name. All right. Yes. You worthy of all our praise. You certainly we magnify your name, for your name stands above all other names. There is no other God besides thee. Well, well. We thank you that you is the true and the living God. Yes. One that sits high and look low. Yes. Right now, Father, we ask that you look down upon us for we all stand in need. Yes, yes. Men that have their heads bowed down in sorrow. Yes. Men and Father are lost in a world of sin. Yes, sir. Men are land on that bed of affliction. Uh -huh. But oh Lord, I know that you is a God that has all power. Yes, yes. You can speak a word and everything will be all right. Yes, Lord. So right now, Lord, we just trusted and depended on you. We look to you from which comes our help. All our help comes from you. Lord, we thank you, thank you for all what you have done for us. Yes, yes. You brought us from a mighty long way. When we look back, Father, we can see that it was you that brought us from the early rocket of our cradle mm -hmm. down to this present time. We thank you, Father. Thank you. We thank you. But we realize we could not have done it ourselves. Yes, yes. You've been a yes. wall of protection around us. You've been a leaning post. Oh, Heavenly Master, you've been our friend. And we thank you. Now, Heavenly Master, we realize that we're going through this old teacher journey. Amen. But we realize that we cannot make it by ourselves. We need you to continue to lead and to guide us in a way be pleasing in your sight. And when we come down to the end of this journey, Yes. When we won't stand at war no more. Yes. And we must move on like so many have already done. Yes. One day we must creep this old busy walk of life. Yes. And I'm not worried when we're going to a battle place a home that's not made by man. Yes. Over yonder where our weary soul will be at rest. Every day will be Sunday. Uh, we can serve thee with a tongue that will never get tired. Hallelujah. Over yonder, our weary soul will be at rest. We ask you to point out our weary soul a resting place. Right. Where we can serve thee forevermore through our ceaseless ages. Well, this is our prayer. We ask it all in the darling name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Our congregation hymn is found on page 141. Love lifted me. Amen. Love lifted me. Page 141. We're saying all three verses. We're saying the fourth and point each verse. I was sinking deep in sin. Far from the people shore. Very deep.
slave.
times. Amen. Amen.
brought us through the pandemic, even though we may be in this post-pandemic situation, He's still bringing us. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 We honor our fathers today. Thank you. We pray that blessings will be upon the fathers today. And special to them who are single fathers. Amen. On Mother's Day, we go all out. All right. We Amen. understand that. Amen. 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 And those of you who have worshiped with me on Father's Day, you know that I stay away from. Condemning fathers, mainly because I'm a father myself. And I feel as if there are a lot of fathers in our world doing some great things. Amen. Amen. There are some bad ones, but there are a lot of fathers doing some Amen. great things around the world. Amen. Amen. So for me to put them down is to put myself down as well. Amen? Amen. 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 So happy Father's Day to Amen. all the fathers that are present today. Amen. We thank God for my daughter and granddaughters coming in with us today. Every year she made it this way. She didn't make it last year. Amen. She made it this year. Today I want to go into a familiar territory. And we'll be preaching out of the book of Psalms this morning. Psalms 127. Psalms 127. Amen. Verses 3 through 5. Sheila has it posted on our flat screen. You'll find these words, Lo, children are an inheritance of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb of his is his reward. As arrows are in the hands of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that have his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemy in the gate. Amen. Amen. There's a lot in those three verses. We're going to just deal with the challenges that father faces. Right, right. Yeah. The challenges that father faces, especially so in this 21st century that we're living in. Amen. Amen. I believe the challenges that fathers face are often overlooked. Right now. Of that of the role of the mother. It's pretty much well known in our secular society of the, the vital role that a mother plays in the family. But nobody speaks on the challenges that the father faces. Yeah. Amen. And this morning we want to just jump in there and share a little bit. I believe fathers have a vital role in the family. I believe they bring strength and stability to the family. I also believe when both father and mother are working together in the home, they bring an ingredient to the home that's very crucial to the spiritual, emotional stability of the family. Especially in this 21st century that we are living in. 
The object, I believe, of parenting is to help our children choose the right path, which involves both the father and the mother. Oftentimes, we hear that mothers will say, I've been a father and mother. We understand what they are actually saying. But it is so important that the father is engaged within that family. Oftentimes, when we uh, quote the, 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 the Proverbs found in Proverbs 22 and 6, where it says, Train up a child in the way he or she should go, and when he or she is old, they will not depart from it. We look at that verse or that proverb as a promise, but it is not a promise. Amen. It's a probability. Amen. That the training that you have have trained your children will ultimately lead them back to what you have taught them. Say that. Say that. Amen. 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 And then if the training of the father is absent, is not that, then the child is missing something from that training. Amen, somebody. Amen. So this proverb, oftentimes we look at it as a promise, and it is not a promise. Amen. It is a fact that if you, in fact, if you train them right, amen, if you teach them right, amen, if you instill, amen, some more revivals in them, amen, if they see the father, amen, if they see the father, how the father is treating the mother, amen, and how the mother is treating the father, they will grow up seeing the father treating the mother in a respectful manner. Amen. 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 It's often time when we overlook, amen, amen, and we forget that in the past, in biblical history, amen, it was the invasion of outside forces that separated the presence of the male or the man within the family. Amen. amen. We put a whole a lot of weight on men, but it was the enemy that came in, amen, and separated the man out of the family. Amen. Amen. How it's so important that the male presence in the family was, was, was needed within the family, but the enemy came in and he removed, amen, through a lot of hardship of life. And many times, amen, both black and white men have done things which, amen, have engaged in things to feed their families. All right, all right. Come on with it. Found himself behind prison. Amen. Statistic tells us that, amen, that our prisons, amen, that house more black men. Amen. And the number of black men that are behind prison bar, some of them are fathers. Amen. They have children on the outside. Amen. The enemy had devised a plan to. To, to bring, to pull the man, the, the father, out of the nucleus of the family. All right. And so the child will miss having the father there. Amen. Malachi 4 and 6, the Bible said that God shall turn the hearts of the father to the children, and the hearts of the children to the father. Right. Lest the Spirit of God come and spite the earth with a curse. All right, all right. You got to understand that what, 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 what Malachi is saying, there's going to come a time, regardless how far separate man is from his child, there's going to come a time he's going to turn the children's heart back to the father and the father's heart back to the child. Amen. Right. Amen, son. And I believe uh, that the churches of today must take down that responsibility, amen, to exhort every man, every father, because it is God's will, amen, that the heart of the children be turned back to the hearts of the Father. Amen. Instead of us putting them down, amen, we should lift them up. 
amen, give them, amen, what they need, amen, to, to help raise their children, all right? The challenge is that fathers faces is one of the greatest, greatest, greatest gifts that a father can give to his children, which is time. Time spent playing with them. Time spent reading to them. Time spent talking and laughing with them. Our children crave that attention. And when they don't get that much needed attention from the Father, amen, they're left with a void in their life. I believe that is one of the reasons why we have so many young men involved in games today. Amen. Because they are desperately seeking some father in it, someone to love them, amen, to show them, amen, that they are who they are. They try to find themselves within a game. All right. And if they have a father within the, the midst of the family, they can have their identity based on their Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a proven fact mm -hmm. that the father presence in the home brings a positive influence Amen. Amen. on the children alone. Amen. The child's self-esteem will increase. Mm -hmm. But if he is but if he is an absentee father, he can cause his children to, to rap mm -hmm. because of their desire to be. Yes, sir with their father. Amen. Right. If you ever had an opportunity to talk with a lot of young boys, Come on, baby. Come on. Amen. And you ask them why they are angry. Yeah. And oftentimes they, they are a roundabout way they'll tell you why they're angry because the father is not present in their lives. Amen. 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 And they desperately want a father figure in their lives. They need someone to help direct them. Amen, somebody. Not to pamper them, but to direct them. Amen. And when they go searching outside of the family, they often find someone who cares and someone who wants to be a part of their lives. But then there is the, the, the flip side. They find someone who takes advantage of them. Make them do things, All right. amen, that, that hurts them or cause them to be placed in jail. Amen. 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 In this text that we have this morning, amen, the psalmist writes in Psalm, in this psalm, he's talking about, amen, unless the Lord build the house, they labor in vain, they build it, except the Lord keep the city, the watchman walketh but in vain, waited in vain. He said, it is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrow, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. Mm -hmm. it's, it's in vain to try to build a house without the Lord. All right. It's in vain, amen, to try to train up a child in the way that he or she should go, amen, without the Lord. Amen. It's in vain, amen, amen, to raise a child and not introduce them, amen, to Jesus Christ. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. Children are given to us. Notice what he says in this first verse. He says in, third, in verse 3, he says, Lo, children are an inheritance right. from the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. Amen. Amen. So God so children are given to us yes, by the Lord. Amen. Amen. Given to us to enjoy. Amen. Given to us not to avoid or to ignore, but to give it to us that we must we would have some joy in our lives. Amen. They are an inheritance from the Lord. The Bible goes on to say they are the fruit of the womb is his reward. Amen. We are, amen, stewards, amen, of, of, of the children that God has given to us. Amen. And we must be careful on how we raise.
the children that God has given to us. Amen. 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 So I, 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 I tell the fathers, enjoy being a father. Amen. Amen. Make sure they enjoy having you Amen. as their father. Amen. Amen. You see, as father, you must listen to your children, mm -hmm. especially when they are small, because when they grow up, they won't come and talk to you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, too many men think they can buy off their children with things, hoping that, they, that it relieves them of the guilt not being the kind of father they ought to be. Amen. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5 said, a wise man will hear and will increase in his learning. So what I'm praying that out of this message, we will have at least some fathers, amen, will listen to what the Spirit of God is sharing with us today. To be involved with your children. Amen. amen. Enjoy your children. Amen. Talk to your children. Amen. And most of all, listen to your children. Amen, somebody. Amen. Sister Bullard and I got another opportunity. Mm -hmm. Amen. To, right. to, to have a, a little one in the, in the home. Uh -huh. And the, that, that dynamics uh, that the young boy brought to the family actually disrupted what we thought was retirement. All right, all right. <laughs> so. Amen. When we enjoy, amen, sleeping as long as we want to sleep. All right. When we enjoy going where we want it to go. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Amen. When, when the Lord allowed us to have, bring this little one into the house, All right. amen, the focus yes, no longer was on writing a book. All right. All right. Come on, wait. Amen. Yes, the focus was no longer on care. Focus was on me. Mark, Mark. Amen. Children bring a dynamics in the home. Amen. That is completely different than we ever can imagine. Amen, somebody. Especially when they begin to talk. When they begin to talk and they listen and they repeat what they hear from people that say things to them. I said to Mark, 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 I sure wish you was just a little taller again, because you sure saying some things. So the brother and I, one day, hey amen, we was on the couch and we was fussing at one another. I might have told you this before. Hey amen. And, and, and I, I think I was getting the best of the argument. Hey amen. And little Mark, Mark came and sat in between us and he put his hand on her shoulder and put a hand on her shoulder and began to pat both of us on the shoulder. And immediately we, we, we stopped the argument. I wanted to tell Mark, 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 don't stop her when I've got the lead. <laughs> when I win, don't stop me when I'm winning. Because right. I don't win all the time. All right, all right. Yes, sir. Children bring yes, sir. a dynamics. Amen. Amen. In to the family. Wow. There's six attributes. Amen. Uh, that I want to uh, pull from the word Father. The F stands for Amen. faithful. All right. All right. The good Father is faithful Amen. to God Amen. first. Amen. And then to his family. Yes, sir. Then God will provide everything that is needed yes, sir. to be a prosperous Father. The word A. The letter A stands for action. action. All right. A good father is a man of action. It's up. It's up. Amen. Despite of the accusation he gets from the wife, right. he might be slow in getting things done. All right. Amen. It's up. But a good father knows when to take action because he is a man of right. action. Right. One of the things that wifeies don't understand that men have their own little and how they want to go about getting things Amen. done. The T stands for a teacher. All right. A good father is a teacher Amen. that prepares his children for adulthood. In other words, a good father teaches his children survival skills that would help them, amen, and to transform them into a successful adult. 
Now, amen, the father has to instruct his, his child how to respond when a police officer pulls up on him. All right. Amen. 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 He has to add that a part of what he's teaching his child. All right. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. I know in our time we don't like saying, yes, sir. Amen. And no, ma'am. And folks are dead. Well, you ain't got to say no, ma'am. Yes, sir, to me. Amen. Amen. But you should be as polite as you can. All right, now. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. You don't, don't even ask them what you're stopping me for. Uh -huh. I ain't done nothing. Amen. So the father has to give him their special instruction how to conduct himself when he's pulled over. Right. Amen. Amen. So he, he won't be the amen the captain. Amen. The A stands for Hebrew. A good father in his family, he becomes the hero yes. because he's the protector. Amen. Amen. He leads the way when danger seems to draw near. He is the hero of the family. I know me and Sister Bullard have this thing. Amen. She sleeps on the outer side of the bed. Mm -hmm. And so I tell her, I say, if anything happens, you run to the door first. You on the outside of the bay. <laughs> Amen. But that does not happen. Amen. Amen. So he is the hero. All right. E stands for an example. Amen. A good father is a positive yes, example. Amen. He's a positive example before his family. Mm -hmm. Again, he because he leads the way. He models good behavior uh -huh. before his family. Uh -huh. Even in times, amen, when the mother and the father don't seem to come to an agreement, he displays a good example. Amen. He lets her win. All right. Amen. 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 So she feel good about her sin. Right. <laughs> amen. I don't know if I'm going to ever get any more cooking. <laughs> then finally, the letter R stands for reliable. All right. Amen. A good father is reliable. Amen. Say that. Say that. He is responsible yes, and consistent in his fatherly duties. Because when his children sees how reliable he is, they will also be reliable. That's what. Amen. There's nothing like telling your, your kids that you're going to do something. Amen. And don't do it. Amen. 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 It, it don't seem like they forget that. Amen. 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 They, they, they forget. They won't. They, they know everything, but they won't forget what you say you're going to do. Amen. 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 It's almost like they wrote it down somewhere in the back of their mind. Amen. Amen. And they will never let you forget. All right. All right. Amen. Yes, you say you gonna. You say you gonna. You say you gonna. Oh, amen. 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 They never. So you have to be reliable. But here's the sad thing: there's too many men in our society today is not consistent amen. in being reliable. Amen. amen. In their families, amen. especially in their fatherly duties. Amen. They neglect those things, those important things. Amen. The role that they play Amen. within the family. Mm -hmm. Amen. And oftentimes what happens is that with the, if the man or the woman separates or divorce mm -hmm. or they never have bonded themselves together in holy matrimony. Well. Amen. And, and then and the child is living apart from the father. Amen. It might be stressful or strainful. Amen. For the father to be able to see the child. Amen. But the father should make some efforts Amen. in seeing the child. Amen. 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 One of the things we argue, and I'm going to rush on to a close. Amen. We argue about many young men argue about paying child support. Right? Yeah. Amen. You see, they, they, they say, we can't, we can't, we don't have nothing because we're paying child support. And they say it all the time. Well, I ain't got nothing, man. I, 
to paying all kind of child support. Well, you didn't think about it. That's right, come on here. Amen. Amen. When you was making babies. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. That was the last thing on your mind. Amen. Amen. Yes, but now that the children are here, Amen. Yes, Amen. You yes, ain't got two nipples to rub together. Yes, Amen. Amen. Come on in. Amen. Yes, so, so, but yet still you can't do your fatherly duties. Yes, Amen. Amen. And then there are some some mothers who take full advantage of that. Use the child as hostage. Amen. To get back at the man. Amen. And won't allow the father to be a part of the child's life. Amen. And that's something that shouldn't happen. Amen. Amen. The child has a right to know who their father is. Amen. Amen. So the child can know who their father is. Amen. But despite the father's behavior, mm -hmm. we have on record in Ephesians 6, 1 through 4, that tells all children to obey your parents yeah. in the Lord, for this is right. right. Amen. 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 Then in verse 2, Paul goes on to say, honor father and mother, which is the first command, watch it, that comes with a promise. Amen. Amen. Yes, the promise comes in the way. Mm -hmm. Amen. It describes it. Amen. In verse 3 it says, and it will be well with thee. And thou mayest live long on the earth. Amen. 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 That's that's a youth day message right there. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. So children, young people, if you if you honor your father and your mother, if you obey your parents. In the things they tell you to do, but go back, go back to one, Sheila, Sister Sheila, because because you need to underscore one, two, three words in there. He says, "Children, obey your parents in the Lord." All right. Amen. Amen. Specifically, so in the Lord. Yes, sir. All right. Amen. Amen. Young people, you gotta know outside of that. Amen. He's talking in terms of the parents telling you some things. That's in within the Lord that are that are right, morally right. Right, right. Your parents not telling you to do some things, amen. They they're gonna get you in trouble. Amen. Mm -hmm. He said, in the Lord, those things that are right. Amen. Because we have parents that will take their children, mm -hmm. amen, to Wally World and use their children, amen, to shoplift in the store. Amen. Amen. Yes, to obey your parent. Amen. So, so in that case, you don't have to obey. Amen. 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 I ain't telling you to go turn them in. Amen. They say, Mama, I don't feel like going in while they grow up today. Amen. Amen. And then, then fathers, then finally in verse 4, the Bible speaks specifically to the fathers. Yes, Amen. Look what it said. Fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath. But to bring them up in the nurture and omniscient of the Lord. In other words, Paul is saying to the Father, don't, don't, don't guard your children into resenting you, even though you are the center point of authority in your family. You must treat your children as though they are human beings. And sometimes, amen, and, and understand that they have feelings just like you got feelings. So in other words, he's saying, don't say anything out of the way to them. Don't curse them out. Amen. Don't say I'll knock you upside your head. Amen. Uh, this is what my dad used to tell me. I'll knock you in the middle of next week. <laughs> Amen. I'm going on record. That's what he said. That's up. Boy, I'll knock you in the middle of next week. And I walked away and say, then I had a game I wanted. <laughs> and he said, come back here, boy. What do you say? I said, I ain't say nothing, Dad. I'm not going to do that no more. Be careful how, amen, you treat your children, Father. Be careful what you say to your children, Father. Amen. Don't, 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 don't allow them to provoke them to wrath. Bring them up in the 
nurture and admonition of the Lord. Amen. 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 You be a darling parent. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. You talk about how much you love the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Don't talk about how hard you work and what, what you have done to bring in and say, look what the Lord has done. Amen. Yes, sir. Look at all the work the Lord has blessed me with. Amen. So the church can get an idea of Amen. The understanding that 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 is the Lord. Amen. That is blessing your family. Amen. 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 I close with this encouraging word all right. to the fathers, as I challenge all fathers. Amen. Fathers, mm -hmm. do the things that you know that are right. Amen. Amen. Seek the Lord while He is near. Amen. 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 Cast all your cares Amen. at His feet. Rise up early in the morning All right. and have a conversation with him. Share with him because today, this is say, this is the day, Lord, that you have made. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm going to rejoice and I'm going to be glad to be a part of the day that you made. Amen. 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 Pray to the Lord and ask the Lord to give you some direction yes, on what you need to do with that day. Then always be the priest of your family. You the one who leads your family into prayer. Yeah. You show your, your children, your wife, that you are the priest of your family. The Bible says the anointing, the oil runs from the head, amen, down Aaron's beard. In other words, it said it starts with you, fathers, because you're the head of the house. And if you step up and be the head of the house, Watch the anointing of God bless your life. Amen. And not only would he continue to bless your life, but those, those blessings, those anointing will spread out for your wife and then to your children. You pray for the protection of your children as they rise up early to go to school or they leave your front yard to go play. And if you continue to be consistent in your prayer to God as you pray on your family, God will be consistent in protecting your family. Then the bottom line is that would, would our children grow up to be the successful children that we want them to be? Not all of them do. But you know this, the bottom line is this, you poured into their life. You gave them every opportunity. Amen. You, you did everything you know to do so that they can be successful citizens in, in this world. Right. Amen? Amen. And then when it's all said and done, and the breath is no longer in your body, you can lay down and rest. You know that you have given yes, your best. Amen. 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 I know the challenges are great, mm -hmm. but God is greater yes, than all your challenges. Amen. So give your life over to the Lord and watch the power of God bless your life. Your family. Amen. Amen. As you continue to strive and live in this chaotic world. While you have time, consider him first. And when you consider him first, the Bible says all those things that you desire, he will add those things to you. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you yes, Lord. for being the best father that thank we can you. ever imagine. Thank you. When we were fatherless, you were our father. Jesus died, Lord God, to set us free. He fulfilled the desires that you had for him in his life. Jesus said to the Father, I know you love me. And because I know you love me, I'm willing to die for and he went all the way to Calvary yes, yes, to die for you and for me. Yes. Father, Mom. we thank you for the message. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. So many challenges that fathers will face. Even now. Even now. The challenges are still great. So, Father, we pray in Jesus' name that you continue to watch over you, these that are here today. Those that are watching us by video Facebook. And you too. Let it be known, Lord God, that you are God. Yes, you are. God, all thy Yes. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.